Hi, Viper families. Um, for those of you that I haven't gotten a chance to meet or that it's been a while, um, I'm Ms. Sherman and I'm your kid's science teacher for either sixth or seventh grade science. I know this is a weird situation because I'm videoing from my house, which is now also my classroom. Um, so I know we're all kind of adjusting to the new normal in different ways. And so I just wanted to try and make things as simple as possible when it comes to school and my class. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> this is a weird feeling you know I woke up Monday morning I was like should be at school this morning with my kids and I'm not and it's it's emotionally hard because when we do this job we expect to be with our kids and we're teaching them in person and seeing their faces is the reason that I like being a teacher so this kind of removes that which is a little bit hard but we're all adjusting so um Students can find information about what to do for my class in Google Classroom. That's something that we've been using all year. It's probably the most familiar to them, so I just want to keep things simple. If there's somewhere else that I need them to go, like Schoology, I'll let them know in Google Classroom. So it's just the one place they should check, and then that'll give them further instructions to go wherever they need to go. Um, next thing is how to contact me. So if you have questions or concerns, email is a great option. I'm L Sherman three at cherrycreekschools.edu or dot work. Sorry, dot work. Um, L Sherman three at cherrycreekschools.org. Um, you can also contact me by commenting on anything or Schoology message. Um, I should be able to check all of those different things. I also made a YouTube channel where I'm posting all these videos. So if you comment on the video, I can see that too. Assignments. Assignments are always going to be posted on Mondays, and we're going to try and make sure that we get all the stuff for the whole week posted on Monday so they don't have to keep checking over and over again. And it's going to be the student's job to kind of self-pace it. So all assignments for the whole school are going to be due on Friday nights at 11 p.m. So assignments are going to be from Monday to Friday. That way the kids still have some normalcy and they still have their weekend and they can still go out and play and as much as they can, you know. So trying to keep a normal school schedule. So that's how that's going to look. Grading. So I'm sure you have lots of questions on grading and so did I. But we had a staff meeting yesterday and it helped to clear some things up. So for grading, the whole quarter four, at least as of right now, is going to be pass fail. So what that means is there will be no letter grades, there'll be no points. Students will simply get check marks in Power School for completing assignments. They complete the assignment, we're going to try and give them some feedback if there's room for improvement, and then you'll see a check in Power School. If they don't turn in the assignment, they don't get a check. And so I pass fail is going to be determined on how many of the assignments they complete out of how many. So um, if you can just help keep your kids on track with that, there's only going to, there's going to be one th like to three for each class. So it just depends on how long the assignments are taking. So we're trying to be reasonable, but also we just want to help the kids still learn and stay mentally engaged. And that way when they come back, whenever that is, hopefully sooner rather than later, it's not such a hard adjustment back to school. So I hope that addressed some of the main concerns. If you have anything else that you can think of, please email me, lsherman3 at cherrycreekschools.org. All right. Um, you can look for videos. You can look in Google Classroom. Everything that I'm doing, I'd love for parents to be a part of as much as possible. If you have some insight, if you have some suggestions or ideas, you know, remote learning is new to all of us. So I'm willing to take what I can get and see how we can make this as fun and entertaining for the kids as possible um, while they're at home. So, all right. Thank you for listening. Bye. Have a good day.